if you really want to avoid this, you don't say to someone who is not in that business, is this okay with you? What you say is, I've gotten a survey, and this is my property. That's what a homeowner does. Because if you just bought this house from a flipper, a house usually comes with meets and bounds, where it is, and they usually stake out property. If because of the way you purchased the house, you didn't have that, then you invest a few hundred dollars and get the place surveyed so that you can put it in right the first time instead of asking him, what kind of business are you in, Mr. Burton? I'm a manager at Toyota. He's in the car business, so he... No, I was just asking him to confirm that we agreed that's where the post would go. Do you understand? I totally get it. Do you understand it. what I'm saying to yeah. you? Okay, so they're entitled to take down the fence that's on their property. And they're not going to pay because you want money owed for the destruction of property. They made the fence unusable, Your Honor, by cutting it down themselves. Oh, you mean you wanted them to spend money to no. have it taken down? No, I would have spent the money to take it down and protect the chain link Just so that I could reuse it. So on what date did you have the conversation with Miss Burton? When she told me to move the fence? Yes. That was in June of 2017, two years and a couple of months after the fence had been up. Okay. And, and until what that did day, you do? I had no idea. Wait, wait a second. What did you do after June of 17? We had the conversation in the driveway. June, just a second, in June. And then your answer is, in August, I saw Teresa outside and tried speaking to her about moving her fence. That's what she says. Again, that was in August. When did you finally get a survey? She... When did you finally get a survey? I got a survey in... September, October of 2017. Well, oh, that's too long, Ms. Clark. If she spoke to you in June and you did nothing in June, June, July, August, September, October, that's five months later. They can take down their fence and I don't care if they make it into wood chips. But at that point, I didn't know it was on their property. Th you should they? List a second. I'm not ascribing what they knew. I'm telling you that in June, I would have gotten a surveyor to come out, surveyed it, and then said they told me they wanted me to move the fence. I'm going to do it in an orderly way so I can save the fence. And by July, it would have been finished. But in June, July, August, September, and October, you did nothing. No. That's not true. Well, that's what you say in your answer. I would have to look back and see exactly when the survey was. I can't remember if it was after our conversation. I don't care if it was after the survey. You did nothing about removing the fence until October. Because I had no proof that it was on their property. Okay, we're not going to keep going back and forth with this. Now, counterclaim, actually, the fence posts are still on the property, and it's going to cost them money to remove the fence posts. That's what their part of their claim is. The other part of the claim is that when you were having a discussion with Miss Burton, that she claims that you punched her in the back or put your hands on her. I want you to tell me about this incident because you're not seeking any substantial damages. You're seeking the money to remove the posts and a dollar for her putting her hands on you. When we were out there, my husband and us with our kids removing the fence over so that it could be reused, the niece there came out and saw us doing it, said we couldn't do that, and we told her yes. She went inside, got Miss Clark, and then she engaged with my kids first in banter. Tell, tell me what the conversation was. How old are your children? Well, at the time, 16 and 14 or 15. Okay, tell me what um, the conversation was. She was saying, you can't be moving this off, and this is my fence I pay to put it up, and she okay, engaged. Okay, that kind of, yes, that kind of and banter. Forth. And I told my kids to just ignore. I said, don't engage, just ignore. So she kept on and on, back and forth, and then my husband engaged a little bit with her and said, look, we told you, and I said, guys, just ignore. So I, in turn, turned my back, and just continued unscrew the stuff to take down the fence. So I didn't see her coming or anything. All I felt was three on my back, three punches or whatever on my back. 